Hi guys, you're watching Interesting and Pickers. Yes, this is the continuation of the construction of our real house in 60 days. For the previous 30 days, we have built a real two-story house and have already managed to do a lot. For those who haven't watched our previous videos, I'll conduct a short review. We built this huge house in 30 days. By the way, many in the comments ask how many square meters are there. Well, each floor is 50 square meter, so in total it's 100 square meter plus an attic of 60 square meters, therefore it's 160 square meters in total. Basically, the whole workflow is now on the second floor because we are now making rooms here. This is Sergei's room. It has three windows and it's a bit larger than mine. There across the wall is my room. It's a few square meters smaller than Sergei's room. At this stage, we are shielding it with drywall and insulating it with mineral wool, right? Yes, yes. And finally, this beautiful huge terrace. By the way, it is drizzling outside now, but here everything is dry. Only 22 days left to move into this house, and for this we need to finish doing everything here. Therefore, today we'll begin to work on the first floor, because here we'll have a bathroom, toilet and a lot of other things. What are you doing? Now I'm gluing the seams of roofing material. This substance is like resin and it won't allow the moisture to enter our floor. After that, we'll put polystyrene foam and then we'll fill it all with a finishing solution that is with concrete. Why do we need polystyrene foam? Well, so that the floor is warm. <sighs> Guys, we have already begun to lay down the grid. I took a thick. Why are you laughing? Nothing. I took a thick reed so that we have a solid floor. And in this way we we'll put it, it will make the floor durable and then nothing will happen to it. I wonder how long he'll walk with a dirty face if we don't tell him about it. Tomorrow we are waiting for the specialist who will concrete the floor in three hours using some new system. I really can't believe it. We poured the first layer for four days and they say in three hours they will concrete the floor. Well, let's see tomorrow what will happen. Finally, we bought normal chaise lawn. Now, not only Sergei, but I can also lie down, for example, after cleaning the yard. Now we're lying and discussing what railing to do here. I'm not sure if this is the correct name, but these are handrails that are placed along the perimeter of the terrace. We have two options. First is wooden railings, for which I am voting. I want to have wooden railings here, and there is also a metal railings option, but I don't know much about it. Sergei understands better. The Ashini iron railings looks very cool. If we make a wooden one, they should be diagonal cross. Um, let's write in the comments. Yes, write in the comments which option you like. Personally, I like the wooden one. Look how cool it is on the attic. That's about how it will look. Plus, we'll shade this part and the roof will also be shaded with wall panels. Do you feel how warm it's here? The roof hits up, so it's warm here. Although it's a bit cold outside. So today they'll concrete the floor. To do this, we need to raise the grid to such things. We need to make the grid in the middle of the floor layer. Then it will perform its function to the maximum and our floor will not fall apart. This week we decided to finish our sauna, so we got to do everything quickly because we want to make a steam bath at the end of the week. Write in the comments if we can finish the sauna in three days. And finally the guys have arrived who will pour the concrete today on our first floor. It looks something unusual. Do you understand the method? It's not liquid, but simply crumbly, like sand. This is the first time I've seen such a motor. I don't know how reliable this flow will be, but such is this technology. The motor is a little wet.
Yesterday I worked in my greenhouse and at the end I didn't see what was done and how. Therefore, for me now there will be a new revelation. Wow, seriously? It's like as if they simply laid a slab here. Everything is so smooth and even. Yes, look how level it is. We don't even have to lean anything. It's really cool. Have you seen this trip? It interested me as well yesterday what it is. They say that the concrete will expand a little while drying out and this trip will not let it crack. They say it for two days not to come here. It's sad, but the good thing is now we have time to finish our sauna, so let's do it now. We started making a stove, today we will make such a corner wall and we hope that tomorrow it will be possible to equip everything here. We instead of the concrete mixture used, you know what, the propeller with the help of which we floated, remember? What did we float on? On a barrel, it seems, yes? We attached it. Oh, oops, I didn't think about it. As always. Guys, what do you think? Why this wire in a corrugated tube? Well, it turns out that it's in order to tie it to the cord and then stretch it in this corrugated tube. You see? Done! It's a cool device, I didn't know about it. Well, a day and a half has passed and we are really curious about the flow there. We are really impatient to be there. Just hope it doesn't fall through. Is it okay? So far, yes. All good. It's so smooth. But there is some strange sound. It feels like I'm going to fall through it. Seriously? Let's check the level. No, your level of knowledge. <laughs> Even? Yes. They are too. Yes, it's even everywhere. That's great. As you can see, we installed the radiators, but we don't have a boiler yet. I've been thinking for a week what boiler to put. There is a soiled fuel one, which is heated by firewood, and there is electric one that consumes a lot of electricity, but you don't need to put anything into it, just turn on the bottom, and that's it. What are you doing here? There is no furniture here and I need a place to lie down. That's crazy! Well, let's summarize what we managed to do in these four days while you were with us. On the second floor, we insulated the interior doors and almost finished them. But here, our most important achievement is the floor. We now have a fully leveled floor. And we also decided to make our room a little more comfortable. So we put a carpet here, put a chaise lounge, and even bought a TV here. Now it's a little more comfortable. It looks like a living room now. We can relax here during the rain. This room is very spacious. While we were busy on the second floor, we didn't really think about the first floor. Now we realize that there is so much space here that we can even play basketball. Despite the fact that here we'll have a bathroom and a kitchenette, there will be a plenty of space here. We also did a lot in the sauna, but there wasn't enough time to finish it today. If you want to see the continuation of the construction of our house and the final test of our sauna in the next video, then hit the thumbs up and comment it below. Also check out our previous videos, they're really cool. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss a new video. See you next Sunday. Blah, blah.